You think you know me. Hello everyone, welcome back to Tippity 2K14 in the last episode. Cena didn't win and one of the greatest matches in WrestleMania history, in my opinion. Today, CM Punk and Chris Jericho. Now whatever the third match is. No video package? Well, trap. Wait a minute, did that actually happen? I, oh well, I guess that makes sense actually. Introducing the challenger from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing 227 pounds, Chris Jericho. Now, tell me why Jericho should get that unfair advantage from Raw General Manager, Mr. Clown Shoes, John Laurinaitis. Well, because John Laurinaitis is in charge of Monday Night Raw and SmackDown, He's forcing a no-disqualification match for the WWE Championship tonight. Perhaps there was a method to Chris Jericho's madness of the past month. Because Jericho has been trying for weeks to get into the head of CM Punk. What do you mean trying to get in his head? The things that that man said were absolutely reprehensible. Deplorable. Well, to listen to Chris Jericho, he's responsible for all this. You know, he invented everything. I mean, he's the root of all things that have happened here in the WWE. Everybody tries to emulate him, especially CM Punk. Thank God Michael Cole isn't doing the commentary. Just thank God for that. Basically, CM Punk has to do exactly the same thing that Triple H did in WrestleMania 25. Oh boy! Look at the gold. This should be an outstanding match. And this one is underway. Ladies and gentlemen, since the summer of 2011, CM Punk has successfully defended the WWE Championship, calling himself the best wrestler in the world. It is a claim that Chris Jericho disputes. That's right, JR. Jericho accused Punk of being a copycat. A Jericlone, if you will. And that Punk stole his proclamation of being the best in the world. Jericho has resorted to every 
underhanded tactic that he could create to get under the skin of the WWE Champion. Uh, CM Punk looks incredibly focused here tonight. I mean, he's looking to get some payback for all the horrible things that Y2J has said about Punk's family. By the end of this match, we will know for sure who the best in the world really is. And there's the reversal. Eric Arana, anyway. Top pro elpo to Y2J. That should be easy. Please don't try this at home. Just fuck the rules. The voice of the voice. Whoa, whoa. Moonsault fail. And that wild attack won't find a home. Bam! Did you hear how his leg connected? This might be big. Pedigree. Nope. Not quite. Right, we got the elbow, so get out, get out, get out, uh, get. Now you might coming back in, not like that though, but whatever. There we go. Okay, whatever happened there. Well, now I've missed the top row elbow spot completely. Pedigree! Nope. Okay. Not entirely sure how that worked. But it did, so... Escape wall of Jericho, okay, I don't be doing that now. Back into the ring now. Incoming miss. How do you learn to take a fall like that? One. One. Holy crap! Some serious pain. Two. Oh, he countered. I wanna do that on the steps. Five. Six. All right, break the count. Move on, like nothing ever happened. Look out! Look out! Two. Signature. Go! 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 Macho man. Now that is qualification. Three. Dear Lord, what a suplex. Right, let's see if I can no I cannot. Right, get up, go into the ring. Oh now you're gonna do it, aren't you? Yep, there it goes. So get ready to move the stick up. CM Punk has got to overcome Jericho's mind games. Ah, uh, Jericho has really got in the head of Punk. You have to go breaker or nowhere. Get back in this match. CM Punk is a five-time world champion and one Do of count. the most controversial superstars in WWE history. Speaking as go to sleep out of nowhere. As he calls it. 
Anaconda boys. No way. Alright, we got the arena. Let's just move on to the last match. Oh boy. We've both said the time for talk is over. You are the people's champ. Listen to the people. They want a match. The Rock says we make history. We do something that's never been done before. We make the biggest match. WrestleMania 28, John Cena versus The Rock. This is the part where I'm supposed to say I look forward to WrestleMania because I personally respect The Rock. I don't. The first time he got a taste of the bright lights, he was out of here faster than I could say, Rocky, don't go. I'm here. I've been here. I'll always be here. You're going to have to kill me to beat me. The headline reads, John Cena defeats Dwayne Johnson in the biggest match in history in his hometown at WrestleMania 28. You're wrong about respect. The Rock respects you, knows what you've done, but it doesn't change the fact that The Rock just doesn't like you. I used to love The Rock just like you guys, and then he morphed into Dwayne and became a disciple of Team Filmin. The Rock is gonna take his size 15 boots, stick it right up Cena's lady parts. Team Brigitte, he's team lost it and the truth is getting scary. Cause they weren't chanting Rocky last week, they were chanting Tooth Fairy. Finally! Finally the Rock has come home and he's never leaving again. And then he left again. John Cena teams with The Rock, never before, never again. The Rock and Cena on the same team just a few months before their opponents at WrestleMania. Oh no! Rock bottom to Cena! The Rock said he'd send Cena a message, and boy did he ever! That was the opening salvo for our next chapter, when the two greatest of their generations finally meet at WrestleMania. Oh boy. Spinebuster, Sharpshooter, and something else. The following contest is scheduled for one ball. Introducing first, from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing 251 pounds, John Cena! Oh, this is so much to soak in, even for this young man. He's loving it! You didn't see him here, his time was up. Look at this. The Rock is making Cena wait. Making Cena think about what's about to go down here. And his opponent from Miami, Florida. Swinging 265 pounds, The Rock! The spectacle that is WrestleMania! This is it! Two faces of their generations, two icons in their prime. Oh man, this match epitomizes WrestleMania! It's been eight years since The Rock wrestled at WrestleMania. And it's been nine years since since he's won at WrestleMania. 
Los Islas Mars Wars, The Rockets of Connection vs. The Evolution, WrestleMania 20. Here Mick Foley couldn't do it. The same WrestleMania that John Cena became the US Champion. Back then he was horrible. Not anymore. And he's the US Champion currently because fuck everyone. Fuck the young superstars. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It's been over a year since these two have traded barbs, quoting each other through social media and interviews, and now it's on. The Rock versus John Cena in the main event of WrestleMania 28. Look at The Rock. It's like he never left the WWE jail. Rock's cardio, his in-ring shape, could be called into question here tonight. It's one thing to look like a million bucks, but having to be in top ring shape is an entirely different thing. Oh, that's right, JR. Looks can be deceiving. The Rock looks magnificent. He looks like he's in tip-top shape. But you know, when you get in this atmosphere, when you get on the grandest stage of them all here at WrestleMania, and you're in the main event? I mean, you can't help but have some butterflies. I don't care who you are. Cena versus Rock? It's happening, JR! It's happening, all right. The time for talking is over. Both these men have been... People's elbow! ...and very entertaining in all their trash talk over the better part of a year. But now it's time to find out who will walk out of WrestleMania the better man. Well, sometimes, JR, you can get wrapped up in all the trash talk and lose sight of what's really important. It all comes down to proving it in the ring. And right now, Cena is finding out what so many before him have learned. The Rock is more than just a bunch of catchphrases and a raised eyebrow. John Cena is in the ring with a world-class athlete. And he holds on to the ropes. The kick connects. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Yeah, nice reversal is right. Oh, there it is. Did it to your leg? Did you hear how his leg connected? Now get up, get up, get up. So I can beat you up some more. Charge him as guilty because that move is illegal. Cena countered it. The only thing that's illegal this match as a fan king, but John Cena is just using a weapon. So pressure on himself going into this main event. If you recall what Cena said and has said week after week, John Cena has to win. He has to win this match tonight. Well, for John Cena, it's a must-win match tonight. He said after WrestleMania, life goes on for The Rock. But the WWE is what Cena lives for. Yeah, he's not beating me by a long shot right now. Reversal. He's showing signs of life. This contest is just so physical. Yeah, not a chance, Cena. Not a chance. But good try anyway. Spine Buster. Rawr. Oh no, boy! You know what? What's the time for? The most electrifying move in sports entertainment yesterday. The people's elbow. Rock bottom. God given abilities that he can put John Cena in such a precarious Low Cena doesn't win. Here is your winner, the Rock. The Rock from out of nowhere. He does it. The Rock solidifies himself as the great one. I think the Rock was actually lying in wait. John Cena literally mocking the Rock. 
Well, I gotta tell you, I don't even think there was a loser in this thing. It's like the last team who got the ball won the game tonight. But the rock prevails. You know who the big winner was? You and me and the entire WWE Universe. Oh, this is great. What a night. What a match. John Cena was dominant. John Cena had the rock right where he wanted it. And then, so suddenly, so electrifying. Well, I sort of agree with you. At least that's what I thought. But obviously, one mistake cost John Cena everything. Oh man, what a WrestleMania! Uh, I wrestled nearly a perfect match. I made one mistake. One mistake! And it cost me everything. This was said by Shawn Michaels after WrestleMania. Uh, at the Slammy Awards, so for whatever. Yeah, WrestleMania 26 was on. By the way, this match totally not canon because it, it never happened because everyone says that. Well, in WrestleMania 31, in the opening match of a lifetime, they obviously forgot this match. Watch Pochamania, then you'll understand. I think it's 271. Where well, this happens. Well, that does it for this episode. Next time. We are moving on to the last WrestleMania of the game. WrestleMania 29.